from Matter Hackers, and today we are here with Jason Proust, like Seuss, um, <laughs> otherwise known as Pattern to Print. I saw Jason recently at Murph showing his amazing giant 3D printed grandfather clock, as well as a bunch of other um, projects that he's working on, and now we are on our way to Bay Area Maker Fair. Yeah. And uh, so excited to have you here. Thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. So tell me about how this all started. How did you get started in 3D printing? Um, I got started in 3D printing. I was at a, an event with my family on vacation and somebody put a MakerBot Replicator 1 in the lobby. I was sitting there all week. And uh, by the end of the week, my wife looked at me and she just said, resignation. She knew I was gonna get one. So that's how I was introduced to it. Uh, we had a local, our local art institute had a 3D print design class. So I took that and then my first printer was a MakerBot Replicator 2. So that's how I got into it. Awesome. And then you mentioned that you were a Matter Hackers customer before we even met at uh, Murph, right? Yeah, I actually, way back when, the very, very first roles that Matter Hackers had were they were very small spindles and whatever. And they were really uh, discount filament. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I got some of that way back when. And uh, it worked pretty well. Awesome. And, uh, so yeah. Um, and you were also here when we first built the foosball table with I Like to Make Stuff with Bill, right? Right, I was uh, a couple days later after they had done it, uh, I was on a family trip and we were in the area and so obviously had to stop by, you know. Yeah, excellent. So tell me about what we're going to see at Bay Area Maker Fair at your booth. Well, of course the clock's going to be there. Uh, I had it shipped and supposedly it's all there. I'll also have a lot of the, uh, some of the other stuff I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of velocity painting right now, the, that kind of printing, so I'll have a few examples of that. I also have um, just some of the other things that I've done uh, with the uh, technique of taking photographs and making them into 3D prints and using different color filaments and things like that. So um, a lot of things like that, yeah. Awesome. Tell us more about the velocity prints. Um, so the idea is behind that is that um, if you change the speed of how fast the extruder moves, like say it's going like uh, 20 millimeters per second and then it's going up to 60, it kind of stretches the filament. It does stuff to the optical properties of the filament. And if you use a translucent filament, you can you can kind of put images or patterns onto it. So it's right now it's very a lot of people using vases for it, mm -hmm. so they can have these really cool shapes on these vases using just one color. And so I've started to like just put like um, trying to do like portraits or people's pictures and stuff like that into it. Yeah, they look amazing. So do you do this for a living? Is this your full time gig? No, this is totally a hobby. Um, I plan on keeping it that way. I, I think having a hobby is very uh, liberating. I don't have to answer to anybody, so I can just work on whatever I want to work. And a lot of things that I work on take a long time for me to figure out. So I can spend six months on something to figure it out and not have to worry about getting something out to somebody. So totally for fun. Awesome. Anything else you want to share with us? Um, I think that's about it. Just thanks for having me, and I'm really excited to be at Bay Area Maker Fair, and uh, couldn't have happened without you. Awesome. Thank you so much. We've got Jason Proust from Pattern to Print. You can find him at www.patterntoprint.com. And for all your 3D printing needs, matterhackers.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.